Hi y'all, it's me. I'm back with my layout for this week in my Heidi Swap Memory Planner. Um, this date period is from March 19th through the 24th, which is actually today, and I haven't done today's because uh, I usually do this at night, but I won't be able to film this tomorrow, so I thought I'd get it done right now and then fill this in later tonight. So, with that said, um, this week I kind of went with that aqua green color and then the coral. Um, I thought that was a nice combination. So let me show you the products I've used first and then I will talk you through this because there's a cute element on here I want you to see. Um, but these were my washies that I chose this week. And then the pens that I've used in the colors that you see here, uh, they came from this set which is from, um, I think it came from um, Daiso. And I'm using these three colors here in my planner today or this week. Then the ink colors I've chosen this week are the Heidi Swap uh, Teal. And then the Color Bark Rose Cor Coral and Yellow Catamum. So those are the, two, the three colors that I chose this week. Um, <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> let me start up here. That's the washi tape I used. Um, you're going to see here there's some stamping done uh, flowers, and those were done with this stamps that I got at um, Tuesday morning. It's called Chicken Nitty, and I used the little flowers there to, to stamp the flowers all around uh, the layout, so you'll see the, that around. Uh, this piece you see here came from Walmart. came in a little pack of shakers, and I've used this in a previous layout and again as always things flap down and move and whatever. <laughs> um, over here I use the Teresa Collins uh, sticker book letters in teal for here and then the butterflies that are stamped on here come from this set here. There's a butterfly right there. This is uh, Technique Tuesday Ali Edwards. It's okay. It's the name of that set. Um, this card is actually a, it was a big card. It was like this, you know, one of these size cards here. Actually, it was a bigger one like that. And I cut it down. It comes from this Pebbles book that I got at Big Lots one time, and um, I've had it for a while. So I cut it down. It says, Skip the Laundry. Spring is here. So that was the first day of spring, and then that flips open there. And then down here, I used a stamp here, but I can't remember where that came from. Um, the little heart stamp that's there came from that same uh, set that I showed you initially right here. And then this butterfly comes from a die cut pack from Pebbles. And it came with all these die cuts in it, really cute. And I used it here, 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 and that's it. Those are the die cuts that I used from this collection. Um, and this butterfly, what I did to make it flap, I just cut off a piece of the butterfly, washi taped it down, and then it flips open there. So that's that. And again, I stamped those flowers. Down here, I cut a strip of paper, um, and I just made it look like a banner, and then I punched out um, flowers from this paper up here with these two different punches. So that's where the, that came from, and I repeated that design up here as well. Um, moving along, this is from the Pebbles collection, this paper that you see in here. I just have bits and pieces of it spread around. The smile came from this Heidi Swap chat bubbles stickers. Um, the spring fever came from this set, which came from actually Target last year. They had a whole spring collection, and it was there, so I used that. And that's about all the products I use now. Again, here you have uh, journaling. Um, this one is what I wanted to show you. It was really cute. I put a brad in the bird's eyeball, and so it swings open, and then this one opens up there for journaling. So I thought that was a cute way to keep that closed. I also have some writing behind it there with some washi tape below, and I just thought that was kind of a cute way to conceal that. This one here um, is a flower pot, so when I start to journal, it just flaps down and I can do my journaling um, there as well as the back of the, the tag. So there you go. That's my layout for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I um, Oh, and I use different date stamps. I have 
days of the week stamps, like five or six of them. So I just multi-change multi them all around um, the pages that I do. So anyhow, okay, there it goes. So until next time, do what makes you happy. Bye for now.